Welcome to Tank Radio, and today we are talking about how to set up a portable satellite rig. And some gotchas I found the way. Play that awesome intro video! Coming soon on a channel larger than this one. When you're an amateur radio channel that has less than a thousand subscribers. One day, you get a call from Jason. Ham Radio Jason. He wants to put together a small channel's YouTubers bunch. And you thought, that will be swell. They had great conversation until Jason asked the great question. By a show of hands, how many of you have an intro video for your channel? was shattered Frank's world. With a drone. Here we go. The first attempt on the satellite communication with a tape measure antenna. Just trying to get a feel of it. This is my actual first attempt. This is kind of later down the line. I got in my hand the radio and don't look at the camera. As I was saying, in one hand I'm holding the tape measure antenna and the radio, and the other one I'm holding the phone that's showing the projected orbit of the satellite I'm trying to contact. What I'm doing here is changing the polarization of my antenna. Since the polarization of the satellite is not known, periodically rotating your polarization might give you a stronger signal. Don't be like this guy who forgets his phone in his pocket, so he has to go digging for it to check the orbit. At this point, I'm not really having a lot of luck with the tape measure antenna, and I decide to look for another solution. It came in! This is the Aero 2 antenna. I ordered this about last week. They got it to me very fast. Like the next day it was shipping. And I'm so grateful. I might be able to finish this video in time. Deadlines or something like that. Um, this is the Aero 2 antenna with the duplexer on it. So I can use the same radio um, for transmitting and receiving. I don't have that radio yet, but future planning. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a look. Ew. Packing peanuts. Well, this is gonna be fun. That's how we do it. We get another hands part. What we're gonna do here is just try to build this antenna. See how it goes. Start with the 70 centimeter part first. I think it'll be easier. All right, so. That's a little longer, that's a little longer. That's a little shorter. The longest one first. Almost did that wrong already. Come on, Frank. Next one is the driving element. Five and a quarter. So these are the four and seven eighths. What does three of them? One, two, three. Next is a five inch and five and a quarter. So five and a quarter next. And five inch. These unscrew very simply. Just unscrewing with your fingers. And um, they turn, come right off. 
Ooh, that's a long screw. I really like the color purple on this. Usually I won't say that, but I think it really pops. They had a bright green. Yes. Do a bright green antenna. I'll buy that again. Here we go. 440. Let's bring on the two meter elements. Should be three elements. A driver, which is 19 and a quarter. I thought there were supposed to be three. Oh, they're already halved. Okay. Let's play the matching game. Yes. I'm going to have to reframe this. Be right back. This part wasn't planned. Um, sorry, I didn't set up this shot. I kind of just improvised. I need more room for these two meter elements. Oh man, I mixed them up. Okay, let's do this again. First, the driving elements in the middle. Someone's yelling at me somewhere to do for doing this like this. Next is the long back reflector. And finally, the top, um, I forgot what the name of it is. Focuser? Sure. That's what it's doing. Bam! Yeah! All right! This is awesome! Can't wait to use this. I need to put this down. <laughs> All right, brand new Aero 2 antenna handheld. Let's give it a shot. Again, here I'm holding the antenna with the radio on one hand and the other hand is holding and operating the phone. At this point, some of y'all might be pointing out I haven't really heard a satellite yet with this setup. Unfortunately, when the camera wasn't rolling, I did hear a number of satellites. This is where this setup kind of starts to break down. I have three things to operate. Only two hands. A solution to remove one device. Pin it to your jacket. Oh, I just lost the position in this guy the satellite was in. Guess that didn't work too well. I had the same problem here with the tape measure antenna. Just too many things to operate and not enough hands. And here's the final problem with this setup. Man, your arm gets tired. I need to find some way to mount this to something. And this is part of the video where we're gonna do a bad build montage. Suit up. The idea here is to use the U-bolt to tighten down the antenna to a piece of wood and then secure that piece of wood to my tripod. Measure twice.
chunk that. Cut once. Cut again. Ooh, pretty. Now I'm measuring the handle to see how long the base should be. Yep, damn. Let's get that cleaned up. This way I have two boards to work with, just in case I mess up one. Now I'm marking to see where the holes go for the U-bolts. Let's work smarter, not harder. Let's see if we could drill both of these at once. Oops. Hmm. Let's put the hardware together. Well, pal, look at that! One final hole. And some hardware. One final larger hole. Final middle bolt assembly. You can see here, any tripod mount will screw into this base to hold the antenna. Genius! Now I just have to figure out the right washer combination. Hmm, seems a little loose. Let's mount it and see how it works. Yep, that's loose. Oh man, this came together perfectly. I couldn't have planned this better. Let's make sure everything's secured. And we're mounting. Bum, 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 bum. I give you an antenna mounted to a tripod. And the crowd goes wild. <sighs> this is KAG5AHJ. Cow's looking at me, I'm crazy.